Oh yeah. There is a one. Well, well we talk talk about details. So let's uh, lay, take a better look of his trap jaw head. Okay, camera focused. Nice looking face, eyes and head. There's this loop. Well, backside is not anything special, but there is something on his head. He, well, his jaw moves up and down. So let's put it down. Actually, maybe if we take it off completely, like this, this can be done. And let's take a look of his, well, formal mm, chin. A uh, jaw, I mean. And look the grossness of it. Very nice looking detail. put this back on keep jaw on and now it's time to give him some more extra parts well, some of them can be called accessories. First, let's start from the bottom and let's give him his belt. Nice looking green with a skull and some golden spots. goes on to his waist like this well this belt is well now it was easy to put on sometimes it takes some time to work with it okay now he has his belt but before we go to the other things We'll have to take a look, a couple of other features of this figure. Well, you know that, well, that he has other attachments because I told you earlier. And those attachments are removable. And you know, you probably know by now if you, well, if you have seen other reviews of these figures before, but if this is what your first Masters Classics review, the heads can be removed like this. But, on this figure, that's not the only thing that can be removed. Behold! Also, his robotic arm goes off and it's intended to be going off. 
like this. And then we have this kind of, well, part of the armor or something. But it goes Yep, and you can put this back on, but we're not going to put this on. Because There's something special about this figure. Because... He has... An extra... Arm. And this arm has exactly the same articulation than the one I on already on the body. And you can put this on like well like oh come on. Well, Like this. And why he has an, an arm? Well, we'll explain that just a little bit. Well, just when you are well. I mean, we'll explain it or I'll explain it to you right after one little thing. Okay, now you know that this arm is removable, but also this arm is removable. Well, it really wouldn't be necessary to this one be removable also, but Since it is, this part can be removed from him, and of course put back on place. But I don't think this should. This was essential part to be removal. I think this should, could have been easily uh, glued on this body and so this arm too. But since it is removable, let's put it on. This is a little bit stiffer to put on than this. And now we can put his hand back on like this. And now we are not going to put this on. No. Because he has also an extra head. Which is the head of his formal self, Cronus. And let's put head on. And now, well, 
now we have crown is well crown is doesn't have well that belt is not part of crown is well well why not it can't be if you want it to be but this figure is kind of two figures in one 